Hello, my beautiful geeks. How is everybody doing today? Welcome back to the Geek Fortress, where today I am rocking a bunny hand because Bunny Day has hit Animal Crossing, and it's kind of annoying because everything is eggs, and don't get me wrong, I love Easter, but yeah, it makes my character sleepy. Yeah. But anyways, welcome back to Nintendo Week, guys. Uh, today, I'm going to be bringing you, as you guys saw, a Kirby design, and we're going to have some fun with this game, guys. We're going to get right to it. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and find perfect spot. Kirby, here we go. This is the pre-render that I already have for Mr. Kirby, which is the one that we're gonna be doing. And uh, follow step by step from home. We're gonna have some fun as per usual. Follow along. If you make mistakes, we can fix them. Don't even worry about it. Difficulty level for this is going to be easy, guys. So let's have some fun. I'm gonna make a sweater because some some reason you know I think of Kirby I think of fluffy I think of nice uh, a nice color palette of like purples and black and pinkish and peach color so that's what we're gonna go with okay uh, it's not gonna be a mirroring one but it's gonna be very easy so don't even worry about it okay now what we're gonna do is uh, right here from where the shirt starts let's count uh, let's see this is the square we're gonna go one two three four five six and then right around here. That's gonna be our starting point, okay? So we're gonna go one, two. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, my controller is really crazy right now. And I'm not using the Pro Controller. I, I'm trying to use the Joy-Cons to see how they work, but they're kind of also being weird. Just bear with me one moment. Let's see if I can change them up to this. That's gonna be better. Okay, very good. So we're gonna go ahead, one, two, three. And then right on this side, we're gonna do one and two. So far, so good, right? From this point, we're gonna go down to the left, and we're gonna go one, two. Then down and over, and we're gonna do one. Down and over, one, two. Down and over, one. Down and over, right here. We're gonna do one. We're gonna do, whoop, we're gonna cover that. We're gonna do three. We're gonna do up to four right there one two three four okay so if you need some time to catch up go for it this is what we have so far okay we're gonna go over to the right and down and we're gonna put a spot right there nope that's not it right there then we're gonna go down and over like so and we're gonna do one we're gonna do two we're gonna do over and up and we're gonna do three and that's gonna be his arm which you're gonna see in a little while Right here, we're going to create a Tetris piece, like so. And that's going to be his side. You're going to see once it takes shape. We're going to go over to this square right here. And we're going to do one, down and over, two. And then down to the right, and we're going to do one, two, three, four, and five. Very easy, right? So that's going to be his, uh, his shoe, his foot. Then we're going to go up and over. And we're going to do one, two, and three. And from this point, we're going to go down and over to the right. And we're going to do the same thing that we did on the right, on the left side, excuse me. One, two, three, four, and five. Up and over, up to the left, right there. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to go over, up one more, to the left. And we're going to do one. We're going to do two. And then from this point on, we're going to go one two and kind of create a little tetris piece right here this tetris piece right over here pretty cool right so we kind of have our basic shape already and this is going to go into his arm so you're going to see how this is going to look in about 10 seconds we're going to go over one like so and then we're going to go one two three four and five over to the left make sure i got all that one two three four five sorry about that we're going to go over and then we're gonna do one and two, over and up, one and two, and then over and up, one and two. Whoops, not there, there. And that closes our Kirby. That is going to be the shape of the outside of our Kirby, okay? And then right here, very easy to make the eyes, guys. You're gonna count from this square right here. You're gonna go over one, two. And then on the third one, right over here, we're gonna do one, two, and three. Then you skip one over, one, two, three. And we're gonna do a little mouth. We're gonna count right here from the middle. And we're gonna go one from here. One, two, three, four. And that's gonna be his mouth right there. 
all right so already taking the shape that we kind of want and right here all we have to do now is close it up like so so it kind of makes its own shape once you get it and before you know it you'll be rocking it all righty so right here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna close it up like so boom and then you have your basic kirby shape just like that how easy was that if you guys want you can actually close it up like right here so that it looks like there's more shadow you can do that as well either way whatever way you guys think that it looks better i kind of like that on their shadow so i'm gonna go ahead and leave it okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make his shoes uh purple like this shade of purple right here we're gonna go to our filling tool which is this right here and we're gonna see how this purple looks like so i like it i like it very good all right and now his pink we're gonna play a little with pink to see which shade we like the most um we're gonna go ahead and fill it in like that that's kind of a good pink uh, but we can always play with it don't forget so what we can do is let's try this one right here uh that one looks a little more uh, on the darker side he i'm kind of liking this one but it's up to you you guys can do whichever one you like okay uh now if you don't like this hue of pink you can always change it don't forget I have this one uh, already set in this, but all you have to do is play with it. Remember, make your own color, make it to your liking. That is what matters. Make it your own picture, okay? We're gonna go to the pen right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some little uh, traces of shadow. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a couple of spots here and there that are going to create the illusion of uh, light and shading like you guys know I usually like to do. And uh, don't forget that he has those little cheeks right here. So to do that effect, we're going to do one here, one here. And then right here, we're going to start right from his eye, like so. Alrighty. So it's going to look like that. I made a mistake here. I just realized that is what we meant to do right there. And these are the ones that we meant to cover, like so. Boom. How cool is that? We're going to cover this. We're going to do one spot right here. We're going to do a little shading here, here, and here. And then we're going to do a little shading here here and here and we lost his arm somewhere in the process before but it's okay we're just gonna put it back right there boom and there's our kirby guys probably one of the easiest designs that you will ever do right here with me it's a lot of fun it's easy and it's uh it's very very effective we're gonna do a couple more shadows one here one here and boom there's our kirby guys that's our kirby design how cool is that now what i want to do is i want to make the same purple uh, for around the neck as well as uh, down at the bottom so we're gonna turn on our mirroring tool which you know everybody loves that tool and that's what we're gonna use okay we're gonna uh, count from here one two three four on the fourth one we're gonna save one more five and we're gonna go one two three four over and down one over and down one over and down one and then we're going to close it up like so and that's what that's going to do is that's going to give us the shape of the color that we need so we can go ahead and um, close it up like so okay and then what we do here is we finish coloring it like so and what this does is it colors the neck only of the sweater so it gives it that nice effect like that how cool is that so it's just the color that it's being uh, turn purple and if you're not pleased with that if you think it shouldn't go that far down you can always change it like this but then you kind of have to remove this and then boom like that just if you just want to do the neck area like so look at that that's actually perfect right there and then for the back we're gonna do the exact same thing we're gonna follow along basically uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it right there and we're gonna do the exact same thing uh, no with white make sure we change to purple like so and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a line right here that goes one two three we're gonna skip over go down and then we're gonna go over like so and that's gonna cover the rest of our neck area like so pretty easy right like I said this is an easy design but it's strong it's, it's, it's epic it's powerful and again if the neckline is bothering you you can always remove one if you think it'll look better like so and then all you have to do then is remove that one corner right here and then you just have like the top part of the neck uh in this one particularly i think that the bottom actually looks good a little further down just because you wanted to cover up to there like so so i think that's what we should keep 
but again it's up to you we're gonna go ahead and get our big square right over here and we're gonna do sort of a the same color that we did on the neck we're gonna do it right here on the back like so and what we're gonna make is uh, by the way our background for the shirt itself it's gonna be regular white but you can change that to any color uh, I found that doing it pink kind of makes it loose, the illusion or the, the way that Kirby looks. You can always do a different tone of pink, you can play around with it. But for the sake of the design, this is how I'm going to do it for this one, okay? So let's go to our sleeves and same thing, guys. We're going to make it easy. We're going to go right around here while our mirror and tool is still on. That's the best part. We're going to go there. And you're kind of going to have to eyeball it by looking on the left to where the sleeve ends, which would be right around. And then on the other side, we're going to do the same thing, just like that. Boom. And you guys can always do the little trick that I've shown you to make something uh, really, really show, which is by making those black borders. Don't forget that. You can do that as well. In this case, I don't think you'll need it because it's a sweater. It, it, I think softness, I think um, it's, it's nice and soft and it doesn't need to really pop up that much. So I'm going to call it finish with this right here, okay? So we're going to go ahead, finish it. Of course, we're going to name it Kirby. And that's what our final design looks like, guys. We're going to go ahead and rock it. And I think it's actually kind of going to go with our bunny hat. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So let's go to our pier so we can go ahead and check out how it looks like. And then we're going to get that final decision to see if we're going to keep it. But I think we're going to keep it. <laughs> um, our little mini-me usually likes the uh, the stuff that we make for him boom look at that let's do a little zoom in boom just like that then you have Kirby it's a nice little sweater you know it's not a, it's not summer yet so you can still wear it if it gets nippy out or once fall comes you can wear it and go out how cute is that we have Kirby in the front blank in the back you can get crazy you can do more stuff in the back if you know of any other character that you can do you can go ahead and create it but this is our Kirby design how cute is that I love it I love it I love it I love it but what do you guys think about this Kirby design let me know in the comment section below guys uh, I had a lot of fun doing it it's very simple but at the same time it creates such a good version of Kirby that I think everybody should be able to do it and just have fun with it and I think you're gonna really 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 love it okay so this is me and me thanking you guys for watching this video. As per usual, you guys have been awesome. Do me a favor, guys. Stay awesome and keep on. Lewis, out. The first mini me has to say bye.